Hello guys and welcome to my first Sage video. Uh, this video will pretty much explain how to kind of play offense on the defender side with Sage walls. Kind of different angles, different ways you can kind of get kills before the enemy knows where you are. So there's a few things you should know about the walls and the mechanics of the walls. Uh, one of the most important things to know is that when you click the wall, you can press C and it rotates walls literally 90 degrees like you see in the video. And then when you hold right click, it rotates the wall as per your turn to the mouse so you can kind of adjust accordingly but what a lot of people don't know is that when you actually choose an angle with your right click and you don't like the angle you can actually reset it to 90 degrees by clicking c so the first angle requires your teammate to be up by heaven in the b site and all you got to do is align this ice wall up just a little bit to the left of that wall and you can literally peek an amazing angle and you can wall through that little ledge right there so you can actually get some really nasty angles. And here's a clip from a game where I use this angle. One B. Please don't knock this down, dude. Message sent. Eliminate. One enemy remaining. I think they're hitting me. Here's another similar spot, but just a different angle. And you can literally hug the wall, do a little 90 degree turn on your ice wall. And you can get headshots on headshots on headshots. And you can even use your operator as well. Uh, people will definitely be caught off guard. You kind of can pick and choose the angle you want. Uh, you want to go higher or lower. Um, depending on where you think the enemy is going to be. You can even fall back a little bit. They will not expect you. Um, if they are hiding, you can ice them out, peek like that, just like I did in the video, and there you have it. This angle is pretty self-explanatory. What you want to do is pretty much sit in the very corner so they see as little as possible of the ice so they don't assume you're there, and then they peek, and obviously it's, it's as I said, self-explanatory. You have amazing angles. Um, you can even cross-fire with your teammate from heaven up on B. You can ice them out. You can do a lot with this angle as well. Now, this is one of my favorites simply because I love opping or operating, if you want to call it a Valorant. Um, I will not take credit for this angle. I found it on Reddit. Now, unfortunately, I can't. I looked and I can't find where this post originated from. So if you know, please let me know and I'll properly credit the person. But I definitely found it on the Valorant Reddit, which I post as well on. And um, you pretty much align yourself just as I'm doing right now. And what you want to do is... The perfect angle is when you walk forward and the wall blocks you so you can't fall off. So you walk all the way until you can't and you see a perfect angle of the hallway um, while they're coming into B or rotating back out of B. And your teammate would be required to be watching the hallway, obviously, because if they peek and no one's there, you're pretty much dead. But um, a one shot, one kill is well worth this angle if you can set it up right. Here you have a similar angle. You could also use the operator or uh, rifle with this one, and it's pretty much uh, headshots only. You have an angle where your enemy does not anticipate you to be. Um, your teammate could also be in the back of the site, kind of baiting them out. And while they're focus rushing your teammate, you can just pretty much pop off and get some headshots, and you can fall back. Just guys, remember the ice wall is not infinite, so be aware of the timing of the ice wall. Here is an aggressive move for mid if you want to play mid. Uh, your enemy will be completely blocked off, so they won't even think about pushing mid, and they r will probably not even expect you to push over the ice wall, but you do have a perfect angle over the ice wall right here, as you can tell. You can look left, look right, you can even push if you'd like. Your teammate could push because he can jump on it off of the heaven stairs. This could be used actually mid-game when you know where your enemy is. You could block off mid so they can't go mid. They also can't go through the doorway. The doorway is completely blocked off. And as you can tell, there's a little ledge you can stand on by the door. Now, if you know your enemy is in A, if they're gonna rotate through CT or if they're gonna rotate through uh, heaven on A, you can sit here and literally just, it is a 100% headshot because it's all you see. But you also have to, you know, kind of figure out where they are because if they're coming from T spawn, it might not be a good spot. Now off to A, this spot is self-explanatory. You block off one section of the site so they can literally not go through that corner. And you can peek them rushing long. 
You could also peek heaven if they are heaven. Just make sure your teammates are aware of where you are and what you're doing. Another A site spot, guys. It's right at the bomb site in the middle behind the little board. Um, I don't even know what that is. I'm just going to call it the, uh, the blue box, okay? And it's a perfect little headshot angle right here. You can even crouch to avoid getting shot. Again, remember, guys, teammates need to know where you are and what you're doing. This is if you're playing a ramp from the top ramp, and it's literally a perfect angle for headshots as well. You can do an AR. I prefer an AR here just because uh, an operator will definitely not be effective if they rush you. Um, your teammate can uh, slow them down from a site if you need slowing down, but you could also jump off the box and hold this corner, which is super, super effective, and they definitely will not expect you, and it eliminates a lot of areas where you can get shot from. Same concept, just a little bit of a different angle, guys. And remember, the prior angle, it also eliminates you from getting hit with grenades, um, from getting hit with the ability to know where you are. With this angle, you can use an operator or an AR. And last but not least, another A ramp spot. Shoot them in the toes, man. Literally shoot them in the toes. You definitely see some body shots as well. An operator is definitely effective here because it's a one shot kill. Take it out and just, you know, and just do some damage. If you guys enjoyed this video, you want to see maybe a attacker side video, how to be offensive on the Sage with walls, any other classes, anything else, be sure to let me know in the comments what you want to see. Like and subscribe if you want more videos, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Twitch link in bio.